Welcome to Electro Online. Some of these problems can actually be somewhat fun. Well, that depends upon what you mean by fun, of course. But it's kind of like a mystery. Here they're asking us to find the angle BDC. So if we take corner B, corner D, and corner C, we're looking for this angle right here. That's the angular measure we're looking for. And so they give us some partial information. First of all, we have two triangles, one that's like this and the other one which is like this. And they do tell us that these are two corresponding angles that have the same measure and these two angles are corresponding angles that have the same measure. Which means we know that this one must therefore be 30 degrees as well and this one must be 45 degrees. But does that help us get closer? Well, we're a little bit closer to our final answer. We're trying to find this angle right here. But first, let's take a look at this triangle. There's a triangle over here, and notice it has three angles. And all three angles must add up to 180 degrees. So 30 degrees plus 30 degrees plus the unknown angle right over here must add up to 180 degrees. That means the unknown angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees and minus 30 degrees. When I move these two to the other side, they become negative. 180 minus 60, the unknown angle is 120 degrees, which means this angle right here has an, is an angle of 120 degrees. Now, notice that this angle plus this angle are two supplementary angles. And supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So 120 plus this should be 180. That means this angle must be 60 degrees. Now we have this triangle right here, and this triangle has three angles. I know this one, I know this one, I can now find the third one. Of course, we know that the three angles together must add up to 180 degrees, which means that 60 degrees plus 45 degrees plus the unknown angle over here must add up to 180 degrees. So the unknown angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees and minus 45 degrees. So 180 minus 60 is 120 minus 45. The unknown angle is 75 degrees, which is this angle right here. This one is 75 degrees. Now I can see that the angle from B to D to C, this angle right here, is the sum of those two. So that means that this is equal to 30 degrees plus 75 degrees, which is 105 degrees, and that is the angle we were looking for. And that is how it's done.